I was not aware that you have to get forgiveness from your friends and family before visiting to Mecca. Welcome back guys welcome to my channel we learn together this is your host Harish and I wish everyone around the world my friends and family a happy Eid I wish you this Eid bring you more prosperous and joy in the, your life you all your wishes come true today and uh, due to Eid uh, to Eid festival today we are going to celebrate the Eid with a video uh, from the BBC News which says seven things you don't know about Hajj the holy place for the Muslim brother and sister all I know about this place that every brother and Muslim brother and sister want to go there prayer there once in a lifetime I'm for the for their family for their for loved ones for the world apart from that I have no information about this city about this place uh, in in my childhood I have learned the history about the Mecca city but at this moment I have no information about that I totally forgot what it is all about so with this video I hope I learned something new today and you also learn something new which you don't know about the city you might be familiar with this picture thousands upon thousands of people all wearing the same clothes and gathering somewhere in Saudi Arabia this is the Hajj the Muslim pilgrimage and here are seven things about it that you probably didn't know. You might have seen this, the big black cube. The Kaaba is a huge stone structure that sits at the heart of the Grand Mosque, Islam's most sacred place of worship. Pilgrims circle the Kaaba counterclockwise seven times at both the beginning and the end of Hajj. It's a ritual called Tawaf. Pilgrims also typically travel back and forth between two hills called Safa and Marwa for also seven times. It's not entirely clear why it's seven specifically, but seven is a prominent number associated with the divine in many religions, including Christianity and Judaism. It might surprise you to know that the Hajj generally has very little to do with the Prophet Muhammad. It actually commemorates the life of another Prophet, Ibrahim. Yes, Abraham, who is also a key figure in both Judaism and Christianity. He was the one who rebuilt the Kaaba with his son Ismail. And Hajj rituals mostly follow the struggle of Ibrahim, his wife and son in surrendering their wills to God. We've heard a lot of debates in the West about a Muslim's face veil or niqab. Well, one place where it's definitely not allowed is on the Hajj. Women are expected to cover their hair with headscarves similar to mine, but the face veil and burqa are not permitted in hat. You know what else? The pilgrimage industry is Saudi Arabia's second most important after oil and gas. The tourism sector contributes $22.6 billion to Saudi Arabia's economy, with Hajj providing nearly half of it. And the Hajj is really expensive. The average price of a Hajj package ranges between $4,000 up to $10,000 here in the UK. Selfies? Not welcomed in Hajj. The Saudi authorities forbid taking photographs, whether with camera or a mobile phone, at some of the holy sites. Any violation of official instruction could lead to confiscation of your device. The idea is to make pilgrims focus entirely on their spiritual journey. This is not easy to enforce when you have millions of people all keen to have a memory from the once in a lifetime journey. The Hajj takes five days and towards the end of it comes Eid al-Adha or the festival of sacrifice. Muslims worldwide celebrate by slaughtering an animal, usually a sheep. This is another part of the ritual that relates to Prophet Ibrahim. It commemorates the willingness of Ibrahim to sacrifice his son Ismail as an act of obedience to God before God intervened to provide him with a ram to sacrifice instead. Finally, performing a Hajj is considered a great accomplishment for Muslims 
In some cultures, people even add the title in front of their names to signify their accomplishments. So they are Haji. The Hajj absolves Muslims of past sins. So before the Haji to be travels to Mecca, it's very common for people to ask their relatives, friends and acquaintances to forgive them. Uh, that's a very short video guys and it provided a lot of information about the Makkah city. I was not aware that you have to get forgiveness from your friends and family before visiting to Makkah. The photography from your phone and from the camera is not allowed in Makkah city. And uh, the Makkah is the Kaaba, the main stone situated in Makkah city was uh, made by Ismail and his father Ibrahim. I have no, I didn't have this information earlier. I didn't know about much about this place, and this information at least provided me some information, and so I learned something new today. I hope you have liked this video, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe us, and share your feedback in the comment section below. We'll bring you more videos about the historic places, cities, their cultures. If you like, if you, I would suggest you please share your feedback in the comment section below about the places you would like us to review. I hope I see some comments in the comment section below. Peace out. Take care. Bye bye.